Hi, this is Mark from Groupable, and today I'm going to take you through the process for setting up your dues in Groupable M2 for the first time. This video assumes that you've never tracked dues in M2 and also that you didn't track dues in the classic Mori system that we've discontinued. So this is for the people who want to get started out. They've never billed their dues. It's time to bill your next year's dues. Now's the time to set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And on the menu for the dashboard, I'm going to go to dues and arrears right here. So I go there and the first thing we need to do is we have to sign the member types to the members so we know what to bill the member per year for the dues. We know that most locals, a lot of them, they have different classifications. They might have people on a hardship. They might have some people who pay a different amounts. So we're going to go through and set those up here. You see the uh, green plus sign in the upper right hand corner, the member types panel. That means there's a function there to add a member type. I'm going to do a regular member that pays $100. I am going to do a 50 year member that pays, let's say, half at $50. I'm going to do a waived that pays nothing. And I'm going to do a permanent hardship that also pays zero. And now that I have created my member types, you'll see here there's a count column. None of these have every, anyone assigned to them, but I've got no member type with nine members. I could go there and I can change member types here with the pencil. I know this guy, he's the secretary of the lodge, so I'm gonna set him to waived. I can also, you could do this all here, but you kinda of gotta click the pencil, it's a little slower. I'm gonna take you to the menu for the dues and arrears, and I'm going to take you to bulk edit dues. Here, I can just quickly go right through and set all the member types for the members. We'll make this guy a 50-year member. We'll make this guy a permanent hardship. We'll set this one to regular, and we'll say that this is an officer also, and his dues are waived. And as you saw as I went through, if you saw the green flashes, that was it saving the data on the server so that everything is saved. You're right up to date. This is all ready to go. Now, because you're billing the new year, it's very late in the cycle for your prior year, which I'm doing this in October of 2020. So I would be billing for 2021 dues. I'm assuming that most of the people have paid for 2020. You should only have a few people that still owe dues. If you're going to go through in this next step I'm going to show you and you're putting in a dollar amount for every member, stop, go to the help widget, go to contact us and get a hold of us. We'll help you with this because really you should only put in, be putting in a couple things and then we're going to have the system automatically set up the next year. So I'm just going to assume there's two people that still owe me for the prior year and I'm going to put that in. You'll see the green flash. That means it's saved on the server and now I've set up my member types, I've assigned them to my members, and I've put in the outstanding balances for anyone who still owed me dues. So now if I go to the dues and arrears screen, I've got those two people. I've got a little bit of statistics. There's going to be a new chart coming in here real soon that'll kind of graph out year for year what's owed to you and what your payment rates were. And then I also have my member types listed down here on the right hand side. I can always see those. I can always edit those change those and go through that. Now it's time to configure the dues notice. But before I do that, I'm going to take one little side trip here and we're going to set up an income category for donations. Because a lot of times when people send out their dues notice, they want to give people the chance to send in a donation. So I'm going to go to budget and you automatically have a dues income category. There's a whole video about setting up the budget. I want you to go see that. It is actually on the playlist, I think, right before this one. If not, go look at the playlist on YouTube. You'll see it there. I'm going to create a donations income category uh, for charities, and we're going to budget that at zero. I'm also going to do one for the new roof fund because the building needs a new roof. And I'm going to do one 
for let's say we're a uh, part of a, a national organization for our national charity fund. And I'm going to click update. I've saved out that income category. So now I've got some stuff that I can hook up to for solicitations for donations on the dues notice. So I'm going to go back to dues and arrears. I found it right here on the menu under financials. I'm going to click the menu and I'm going to go to configure dues notice. In the upper right hand corner, I've got a panel here for my solicitations. I'm going to put a couple solicitations on the dues notice. So I'm going to put one on here for the new roof fund. The income category for that is going to be the new roof fund. Well, you can put a suggested amount in here. You don't need to. I'm going to put in $50. And I'm going to say I want that on the print dues notice. It will also appear on an electronic notice if a person comes to pay electronically. So I'm going ahead and created that. And I'm going to do a drive for local charities that we donate to. I'm going to put that in the donations for charities. We'll make that, I don't know, $10. Print it on the dues notice. And I'm going to make another one for our national charities. We'll put that in the donations for national charity fund. I'm not going to put a suggestive one there. I am going to put it on the print dues notice. I'm going to click create. So now I've got my, my solicitations that I want to appear on my dues notice, I can put in a date. I can put in my directions. And please send them to the return address. The address and name of the controller or the secretary or the person who handles the income for the local group is what automatically gets filled in here. You can change that to anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and save this out. That updated my, my dues fields. And now I'm going to go back to dues and arrears. Now at this point, I'm ready to generate all of the receivables entries for my next year. Remember, I'm doing this in October of 2020. So I'm setting up for 2021. I go to the menu again and I say, add a new dues year. We show you your member types, so you know what each person's gonna get billed. I just set these up so I know they're right. I click the select dues year. It's already got it set up for 2021. That's the year I wanna do. I click setup, and there we go. I've created all the receivables entries for 2021. I can see that in my, my uh, aged receivables here. I've got six members that owe 2021, the two people who still owed 2020, and I'm all ready now to print out my dues notices or email them. I can go here and go to email and print dues notices. I get my information. This is what I set up before. I already did it, so it's good, but we always want you to verify it so we know we got it right. We're going to give you a preview of what the notice is going to look like. Here, I can email to the members. So I can put in a subject line and and we attach a PDF of the dues notice for this member to the email as well as if your lodge or your local has set up for online payments. We put in a link to do the online payments. We have a separate video on setting up your local to accept online payments through our portal. So that if you want to do that, take a look at the, uh, I believe it's under our lodge page, the list there on YouTube. You can take a look at that and see that video. So I click send. That's going to go off and do those in the background for me and send out those emails. Now I can print my dues notices. I can do it for all my members, a particular member type. I can do it for a single member. I'd have to search for someone, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do all members. I'm going to sort it by name. I'm going to put one to the top. I'm going to include a contact form with the dues notice. That gives the current contact information and a field for the member to fill in to get new contact. Make sure we've got emails, phone numbers, and everything up to date. I'm going to include a custom message here that's going to 
that's going to show up on the dues notice. And if I'm set up, you can always put in a link to remind them that they can pay online. I click print. That's going to generate my dues notices. They, they show up as a PDF. You can put that out to your printer. And now that I've got those, if I'm not using a number 10 envelope, and you'll notice here that we have the return address and we've got the address of the member here. If you're using number 10 envelope, you can just trifold this, put it in the envelope and you're done. If you're not going to use a windowed envelope, you can then print out labels or you can print directly onto the envelopes, match them up and put them in. We support uh, Avery 5160, which is three across, 10 down. You can select exactly which label you want to start on. We do the two across, 10 down, same deal there. You can select exactly which label you want to start on, or you can do the number 10 envelopes. I'm going to do the Avery labels, and let's say I'm starting on the 14th label on the sheet. Go ahead and click print, and there are my labels. I can put the dues notices in the envelope, put the labels on, and they are out the door. And you have now started tracking your dues in the groupable system. And now you can go and set up a merchant account, start to take your payments electronically with a credit card. And we're going to have much more coming in the future, like uh, installment payments and support for automatic billing and automatic paying notification, etc. So it's a good time to get started, get all this stuff into M2 so that you're set up for the future. Have a great day.